What's up guys, it's Mitch here. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get perfect color in every single shot, no matter what lighting or what camera you used. We've all run into this problem before. You get back to your computer after you've finished up a shoot and you start editing all your footage and you realize that all of your colors are all over the place. It could be that you didn't shoot in the right color profile, you didn't set your white balance properly, or you shot in a flat profile and you just don't know how to make it look normal again. This is the one tool that fixes all of those problems. This is the X-Rite Color Checker. And no, this is not a sponsored video. This is just a tool that I think not many people know about and it could save your life on your next video shoot. All you need to do is bring this card with you and place it in front of the camera Record a short clip, make sure your fingers aren't covering any of the boxes, just like this. And then you're going to use that clip later on in post-production to correct the footage. And this all happens in less than 10 seconds. It's super easy. The only thing you need to remember is every time you change the lighting, the camera settings, or the scene that you're shooting in, you need to get a new clean plate with the color checker in the shot so that you can make a new adjustment for that scene. This all sounds pretty cool, right? But it actually gets even better because not only does this allow you to manage your colors from shot to shot, it's also a tool that allows you to match multiple cameras. As you probably already know, working with multiple cameras can be a bit of a nightmare, especially when you get to the color grading process because different cameras have different color science, color profiles, and slightly different white balance values. So the simple fix is to bring the color checker with you, aim both cameras and record a clip on both cameras in the same scene and bam, all the work is done for you. No more fiddling around with curves and color wheels in post-production. You can get right back to the creative stuff. Keep in mind, this tool is for color correction, not color grading. Color grading, which is the next step, is adding all of your creative and stylistic choices to the footage to help them match the scene or the project. It is so, so important to have a good, corrected, balanced base between your cameras, between your shots, between your scenes, so that when you get to that color grading process, it's a lot quicker and a lot less painful charts out there however I do recommend this one you can buy a smaller version of this same card which comes in like a smaller little flip out case which is cool I like this one it's nice and thin basically this just slips into the laptop compartment in my bag and it stays there um, I have two of these actually one that stays with me here at home and the other one that stays in my bag so that I have it with me at all times and as far as investment goes these charts aren't as cheap as you would think they would be However, I do think that they are worth the price that they're asking for given that you can basically just whip one of these out at any shoot and just solve all the problems of color profiles and balancing your footage um, pretty much straight away without any effort at all. So I think it's definitely worth it. I'll leave a link to where I found mine in the description below. Now that you have the card, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you make the correction. So for that, we're gonna jump into the computer. For this section of the video, I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve, which is my editing platform of choice. And DaVinci Resolve actually has a tool built in to help you color correct for this specific chart, which is really cool. However, if you are on a different platform like Premiere, there luckily is a plugin that you can use as well, which I'll link to in the description. So as you can see, I've started a new DaVinci Resolve project. I've got a brand new timeline here and I found this great looking screen grab here of myself. Um, but as you can see, we've got the chart clearly displayed in the background. So what we're gonna do is just drag this footage down onto the timeline here. And now in order to correct the footage using the chart, we just come over to the color tab here. The first thing that we wanna do is go to the color match window in this bottom left corner and click on that. And then we're gonna make sure first of all that we have the right chart selected. So there's a bunch of different charts you can see here. The one that I have is the x right Color Checker Classic Legacy, because it's quite an old chart. So I'm going to make sure that that's the correct one first. So you're just gonna select the one that applies to you. The second thing we're gonna do is come over to this little button here with the eyedropper, and we're going to open the drop down menu and select color chart. That's gonna bring up a color chart and we're gonna zoom in on our window here. And what we're gonna do is actually match these corners over onto the chart within the window. So you've got to make sure that these little boxes line up with their corresponding boxes on the chart. 
and that looks pretty good. Make sure that it's perfect. You can use these little handles on the side um, to adjust where the boxes will sit. So once we've got that done, it's pretty much one step from here on out. But first we need to make sure that we select our source gamma. So I know that I recorded this in Rec. 709 because it's just a regular Canon picture style. You can choose from the list uh, depending on what you've recorded in. So you can transform from log, um, there's all sorts of different log profiles, or you can just simply use auto, which I find works pretty well. For the target gamma, I choose Rec. 709 because of the displays that my videos are most likely to be shown on. There's plenty of different options. And then for the color space, uh, I choose Rec. 709 once again. You can make it look like red or you can choose Rec. 2020. It's totally up to you. I leave it on Rec. 709. And the last one is choosing the color temperature. So it's important to know that the higher the number here, the colder the image is going to be and the lower the number, the more warm the image is going to be. And I think this is just something that you should play around with. In this situation, I'm going to set this to 7500 Kelvin because there was quite a warm cast coming into the room in the afternoon that I shot this. And so the only thing left to do is to press the match button now. And as you can see, if we press shift D to toggle the effect on and off, you can see the footage looks way better now. The green cast and the yellow cast in the skin is completely gone. I look healthy again and the scene looks great. Once you've done the correction and you want to apply that to multiple shots, you can just copy this grade by pressing Command C and then you can apply it to the other clips that will eventually fill in once you start editing here. Alternatively, what you can do is you can actually make this adjustment. If I actually just copy this and then reset, uh, you can make this adjustment to the entire timeline by clicking this drop it down menu here, pressing Alt S to create a new serial node, and then applying that grade. And then you won't be able to see it here because I've only got one clip, but once I've edited the entire timeline, by using this timeline feature here, that'll apply it to all of the clips. So that's pretty much it, pretty easy, straightforward. All right, I'm gonna go and correct this footage and upload it for you guys to YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something that makes you better at what you do. That's what this channel is all about. So if you're into that too, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thanks once again, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.